Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope lets Thomas realize how wonderful their relationship was at Forrester, which is why it's so hard for him to accept Paris' proposal of marriage. She told Thomas twice no, and he reminded her, you have to know what that did to me. Hope lets her regrets be heard. Thomas claims that he had to let go. How soon, Hope wonders, Paris bucking him with. Avoid it. Never wed her. Paris, in the design office, is aware that Steffi and Rich must be taken aback by the engagement. They didn't want to announce the news in this manner. Rich tells her they're eager. However, in order to heal and refocus, his kid traveled to France. Paris claims that his absence has transformed him. She is his future, and Hope is his past. She has faith in Thomas' dedication to her. Hopefully you're right, Steffi sighs. Tom recalls Deacon telling him that Bill is Luna's father and about splashing water on Poppy while he is at Il Giardino. He looks around, shakes his head, and uses a tablet to look up Bill Spencer's address. He writes it down, and then Deacon asks him if he has stage fear after mentioning that he plays the guitar. Tom is really grateful to him. Deacon boasts that the Tom Storrs Comeback program is a great way to get exposure. It was an amazing experience back in the day, but Tom is unsure of how many of his former admirers will emerge from the shadows. Tom takes out the napkin with Bill's address on it as Deacon leaves once more. Poppy arrives at Bill's house and Luna informs her that Bill has already made three checks in for the day. For them, this is a completely new world. Sheila walks up to Il Giardino, where Tom is still scrutinizing his napkin. They talk about how everyone deserves a second shot. She reiterates that everyone makes mistakes from time to time. She is aware that they are all able to change. Tom concurs. Over the years, I've lived many lives. He reportedly saved Shyla's life. She will always be appreciative. He makes references to another person, but she chooses to view him for who he is right now. She's hoping he'll return the favor. Deacon reappears and announces that tonight's PA is ready. Tom finds it amazing that after living on the streets for years, he's getting ready for his first show. Deacon is incredibly grateful to him for saving Shyla's life. Tom claims that he is preserving his in more ways than one. Hope summarizes in the main office that her rejection of his proposal had nothing to do with her level of love. Thomas reasoned that if he kept asking, she would ultimately accept him, but because she didn't, he had to leave. Hope swallows, wishing he hadn't. Now, things might be different. She is unaware of the total toll that his life has taken. He is engaged to be married in Paris and calls her mother. How is that possible? You are aware that it's moving too quickly. Paris brings up her dad's terrible deeds in the design workplace. She is reassured by Ridge and Steffi that neither they nor Zoe, who became entangled in it, hold anything against her. Paris considers how she pledged to keep her heart safe at all costs since she loved someone who was uncommittal. But I didn't have to be concerned. Thomas was there to guard it on my behalf. Ridge voices his worries. Paris promises that since Thomas confided in her, he is now able to imagine a time when he will be content with someone other than Hope. She has faith in him, even with Hope. Thomas wonders in the main office whether Hope believes he proposed to Paris on the spur of the moment. You tell me given that you proposed to me not too long ago, laughs Hope. Thomas describes his journey back to Paris, France. His age is staying the same. He desires a second child. A family is what I want. With Paris, Hope asks. So now she's your future. Thomas observed his sister's transition away from the destructive connection with Liam. She is content right now. Is that not what you want for me? If he didn't think they could succeed together, he wouldn't have asked Paris to marry him. I will live out the rest of my life with Paris. I'm going to marry her. Luna and Poppy discuss how things have turned out at Bill's house. After receiving a call from RJ, Luna exits the room. The doorbell sounds. Tom adds, 
pizza delivery Poppy as Poppy opens the door for him. Tom, snarls Poppy. How come you're here? Tom tells Poppy that he felt compelled to visit after spotting her at Il Giardino. From the delivery system, he obtained the address. Well-placed jabs. Poppy informs him that he must go. Don't play games with me, Poppy. Tom cautions. Poppy is ignorant of the subject at hand. Tom believes she is well-versed in the subject matter. Poppy says she'll call security. Tom claims that he only gave her a pizza. A pizza I didn't order, snarls Poppy. Tom says he is arriving peacefully. Both he and she are aware that the other has not forgotten him. Poppy informs him it's time for him to go. Luna shows from out of nowhere. The man, according to Poppy, was only bringing pizza. Tom crawls away. Deacon asks Sheila at Il Giardino why Tom hasn't returned for a sound check. He believed it would create positive publicity for the establishment when he learned that Tom had been in a band. He summarizes that he would not have discovered her if it weren't for Tom. Sheila remarks that they still don't know a great deal about the man. You think Tom has secrets? Deacon queries. Sheila answers, don't all of them. Paris informs Ridge and Steffi that she and Thomas are in agreement in the design office. A family is what we want. She intends to make the Forrester family proud, even though she is aware that this is a major step, especially with a young son to take into account. Hope, according to Steffi, put Thomas through hell. I'm so happy you're in his life right now. Thomas tells Hope in the main office that he loves Paris just as much as Douglas does. They are starting a small family of their own. They will soon tie the knot and make it official. Hope concludes that she must respect his choice. Thomas, please know that I always have your best interests in mind. I will always adore you, in spite of everything that has transpired between us. As Hope gives him a kiss, Steffi peers through the door. After she retreats, Thomas walks off. Sighs Hope. When Steffi returns, she wonders if she truly believed the kiss would be all it would take for her brother to return to her. She tells her that she must accept Thomas' choice. He twice asked her to marry him, but she declined. Therefore, please never even consider hurting or disappointing my brother. At Bill's place, Luna and Poppy recap how things have worked out. Luna gets a call from RJ and leaves the room. The doorbell rings. Poppy opens the door to Tom, who says, Pizza delivery, Poppy. Poppy hisses, Tom, what are you doing here? Tom tells Poppy that when he saw her at Il Giardino, he thought he should stop by. He got the address from the delivery system. Nice digs. Poppy tells him he needs to leave. Tom warns, don't play games with me, Poppy. Poppy doesn't know what he's talking about. Tom thinks she knows exactly what he's talking about. Poppy threatens to call security. Tom says he just brought her a pizza. Poppy snaps, a pizza I didn't order. Tom insists he's coming in peace. He hasn't forgotten her and he knows she hasn't forgotten him. Poppy tells him he needs to leave now. Suddenly, Luna appears. Poppy says the man was just delivering pizza. Tom scuttles off. At Il Giardino, Deacon wonders to Shiloh why Tom isn't back to do a sound check. When he found out Tom used to be in a band, he thought it would be good buzz for the place. He recaps that if it weren't for Tom, he wouldn't have found her. Sheila muses that there's still so much they don't know about the man. Deacon asks, you think Tom has secrets? Sheila replies, doesn't everyone? In the design office, Paris tells Ridge and Steffi that she and Thomas are on the same page. We want a family. She knows it's a big step, especially when there's a little boy to consider, but she plans to make the Forrester family proud. Steffi says Hope put Thomas through hell. I'm really grateful you're in his life now. In the main office, Thomas tells Hope as much as Douglas loves her, he loves Paris too. They're creating their own little family. Soon, they'll be married and it will be official. Hope decides she'll have to accept his decision. Please know, Thomas, I will always want what's best for you. Despite all that's happened between us, I will always love you. Steffi looks in the door as Hope kisses him. She ducks back out and then Thomas leaves. Hope sighs. 
Steffi comes back in and asks if she really thought that Kiss was all it would take for her brother to come running back to her. She informs her she needs to respect Thomas' decision. He proposed to her twice and she turned him down. So don't even think about hurting or disappointing my brother again. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.